Hey guys, today I'll be making a contest entry for Wonder Crafts 400 plus subscriber contest and I just want to say thank you for hosting this polymer clay contest and I believe it's an all craft contest, my bad. And um, I just want to say congrats on hitting 400 plus subscribers and you're almost getting to 600 which is amazing. So enough with that, um, I will be showing you some of my creations, I did some curler beads some drawings and clay charms so let's get started so to get off started I will be showing you my polymer clay cookies so first I have this eat me macaroon and it's blue and it's super textured on the sides and it even has blueberries and it comes with an eye pin let me just show you that next I have this really super small cookies and cream ice cream cookie and it's super textured and I really like this and it is glazed. Next I have this heart cookie and for the icing I use TLS and red pastels. And it is glazed as well, the frosting part. Next I made a strawberry cookie and I used some strawberry cane slices which hope you don't mind. And I also use TLS and red pastels, like the heart cookie. And most of my cookies are textured really well from behind and in front. Next I have this cookie platter and as you can see someone bit one of the cookies accidentally. And there are three cookies and a cup, a cup of milk and it's in a purple cup. And I use this granite clay. I really liked it. It's really small. It's like the size of my palm, which I will show you. So it's pretty, pretty small as you can tell. Next, I made this chocolate cookie with white chocolate chips on it. And it's really cute and I even put a little cute kawaii face on it. And I also textured the behind and front. It's really cute. I made this mint chocolate chip cookie. It's really cute and it's a little chubby which is even more adorable. Textured in the back as well. Next I just made a regular old fashioned chocolate chip cookie with a cute kawaii face. And it's textured behind. It's really cute and really small. Next I made this rainbow chocolate chip cookies. I don't know how to explain it but it's just like rainbow um, chocolate chips and it even has a kawaii face on it. It's really cute. Let me just focus that. Next I have this really small chocolate chip cookie and I did shade it well. Um, it is sad because as you can tell someone bit him unfortunately but it's really cute still. And as you can tell, most of my chocolate chip cookies are pretty small compared to my palm of my hand, but they're super adorable. Next, I'll be showing you some random polymer clay charms, so let's get started. So I have this Ariel Chibi, and it came out super adorable, and I really loved it, and I'm pretty happy how this came out because this is like one of my first chibis actually came out pretty cute but I really loved how this came out so yep yeah. next I have this cat charm and as you can tell it has some cute stars and um, the eyes are pretty weird because I was planning to use white but I just used translucent and it still came out okay and it has a little cute pink nose and pointy ears Next, I made this Corazon, and it even has a little cute butter slice on the side right there. And it's super textured, as you can tell. Next, I have this little hamburger. And as you can tell, the cheese is melting, and I did texture the burger. And this is how the top looks. It has the little seeds. I was planning to do them small, but they came out pretty big, so sorry about that. Next, I have this really, really small princess bubblegum cupcake, and this came out really cute. I really loved how this came out, and her crown came out amazing, and her face, and yeah. 
and I did glaze the frosting, so it came out really cute. Next, I have this gummy worm play charm, and I did use a light pink with a dark blue, and it came out really cute. Do do do, and I did glaze it. Next, I have this really really small chapeau charm, and it came out really adorable. And um, the next charm I'm going to show you is hopefully not is not like an entry because I want to show you the difference between now and before because I did make a really really horrible chapeau probably three years ago and it came out really horrible and I did a big improvement so the next charm I'll show you is not an entry just to tell you it's just that I just want to show you a remake that I did and it's pretty big improvement so let me just show you okay this is my chapeau charm that I did probably a couple of days ago and it came out really cute and it's pretty clean in my opinion and let me just show you a charm that I probably did three or two years ago and yes it's really horribly done as you can tell there is a major difference from now from now and then as you can tell the shape is way better than it how it used to be before the lines are better and I did forget to add her dots which I'm hopefully going to paint them on instead um, her eyes are pretty big, like, they're so big, I'm so sorry, and then these are, like, really small, and the hat did come up cl way cleaner, and I did add an eye pin, but the shape of Chapeau did not come up beautifully, and when I blended the colors, you can tell that there's little white right there, but I just want to say that I did make a big improvement from three years ago till now, and... I'm just saying like this is so horribly done, but this is my new charm that I made, and this is the entry I'm entering, and this is my old charm. I just wanted to point out a major difference between now and then, and just to tell you again, this is not an ex this is not an entry, so yeah, this is the entry that I'm entering. This is just a before, so hopefully you understand that, but yeah. I also forgot to mention that I made this cake and it came out super textured and it has a pink filling and it also has some pink droplets and I did use TLS and mixed it with pink pastels. Now I will be showing you some Priller bead charms I made. First I made this lollipop with a blue and pink bow, it came out really cute. I did this 3D creation. And this was inspired by a tutorial, so basically it's a cell, not cell phone, um, headphone holder. And it came out really cute, and I tend to lose my headphones a lot, so I decided to make this. And it's basically like a cookie, and the white headphones is like the filling. And, and I did add some chocolate chips, and it came out really cute, in my opinion. And I will leave the tutorial in the description box if you want to go check it out. Next, I made this french fry charm, and it came out really cute, and the cheeks are really adorable. I made this purple Game Boy. And lastly, for the Perler bead creations, is this pink milk container, or carton. And I almost forgot about this one by accident is this green tea milk container. And it came out really adorable and it is a little bigger than the strawberry milk one. So, yeah. Next, I made three drawings. First, I made this Mamagoma cupcake and it came out really cute. And as you can tell, I have Mamagoma's face in the cupcake base. And it has a little cute cherry and pink frosting. Then, these were inspired from your latest video, which is how to draw kawaii faces. I decided to, instead of putting them on charms, to put them on paper, and they came out really adorable. So I did this ice cream one, but then cherry, and then this dead face, this orange creamsicle, and it has a dead face. So that is the end of my contest entry, so hope you liked this video. If you did, please comment and like this video and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And this is my contest entry for Wonder Crafts 400 plus subscriber contest. Bye!